Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look I'm wearing right here. I think it's really festive and really cool for the holidays. We got like a coppery glitter going on and a gold, very warm toned smoky eye. I also wanted to pair it with like a burnt orange lip. I thought it just fit really well with like the copper and it really tied that into the look. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I already have on the majority of my face and my brows, and please excuse the ratchetness that are my nails. Meh. Next I'm going into Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Bean and just buffing that all over the entire eye area to set our base. And then I'm going into Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Desert Sands and buffing that back and forth through the crease and upper crease. This is going to be our transition shade for this look. I'm using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to do that. Here I'm just switching brushes to my Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to take that same eyeshadow straight through the crease. I really just wanted to deepen up that crease area and give it a little bit more dimension. I'm also just going to run that same shade along the lower lash line. Here I'm using a Real Techniques shading brush. It's nice and small and it fits perfectly underneath there. And then I'm going to go in to the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. This is in the shade M630. It's a really rich chocolate brown shade and I'm using my Morphe M514 blending brush to buff that onto the outer V and then slightly through the crease. I'm not going to take it all the way through because I don't want that much definition in my crease. I just wanted a little bit in the outer corner and I wanted it to fade into the inner corner and then I'm also packing that onto the outer third of my lower lash line. And here I'm just picking up Vanilla Bean again and I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone. I'm using a Sonia Kashuk 103 brush to apply that. Next, the star of the show, this is the Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish in the shade Dynasty. It's a really gorgeous gold shade, but I totally forgot to put on my Too Faced Glitter Glue first because I want those glitters to really stick and stand out. So we're going to put on some glitter glue first, and then we're going to go back into that eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking that, and I'm just going to dab it all over the lids and kind of just blend out the edges with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with the actual applicator from that eyeshadow, and I'm just going to to be using that to apply some more on there and just really pack it on. And then I'm just gonna take the Too Faced Glitter Glue again and I'm going to pack that onto the lower lash line because we're gonna be adding the glitter down there. This is really gonna help it stick and not fall out and not move. Move, <laughs> so weird. Now for that sparkly sparkle, I'm using the MAC Glitter in the shade Raining Riches. This one is actually limited edition. They did come back out with it in the Nutcracker collection. It was in that pigment glitter set, so if you have that, then you definitely have it. But if you don't, you can find a copper glitter pretty much anywhere. You can go to your local craft store and find a copper glitter. So that's what we're using there. And then I'm going in to the ColourPop Cosmetics Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve and applying that to the waterline and also MAC Eye Coal in the shade Fascinating and applying it to the other half. Next for liner, I'm using this one by Maybelline. It's their Precise Curvy Liner. I think that's what it was called. And I think it's new or maybe it's not new and I'm just new to it. It's new to me. <laughs> and I'm just going to use this to line the eyes and create a wing. And then we're just going to clean up our liner with some concealer. I'm using the Sigma F61 Angled Cream Contour Brush to clean that up. This brush is legit for doing this job. Girl, you need it. And then we're going to go ahead and start coating our eyelashes with mascara. I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've only been using this for a short amount of time, but it's so bomb. Like, look how long it makes my lower lashes look. They're just bomb. I love it. Now we're just going to add a little bit of highlight to that inner corner. I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Swirl Illuminator and I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner and also on the brow bones just a little bit. I'm also going to spray my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plush just to make it a little more intense. Now for falsies, I'm using my Coco Lashes in Goddess, but you knew that because I feel like I use it in every single video <laughs> and in every single look. They're just my favorites and I love them. So yeah, we're just going to pop those on and pinch them together with some tweezers. Now for the face, we're going to bronze up a little. I'm taking the Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil, and I'm using an e.l.f. powder brush to just bronze up the skin. I'm applying it to every area of my face where the sun would naturally hit, so along the cheekbones, the jawline, the chin, around the perimeter of the forehead, and yeah, we're just going to buff all that out. 
Now for blush, I'm taking the Narcissist Unfiltered 2 palette and picking up the shade Fame, and we're just gonna buff that on the apples of the cheeks. I'm using my SL Miss Glam Angled Blush P05 brush. This brushes are just so cute. I love them! Now to contour a little bit, I'm going into the NYX Cheek Contour Duo palette, and I'm taking my NARS Eda brush to just contour the face a little bit, taking it under the cheekbones, around the perimeter of the forehead, along the chin, and jawline as well. Then I'm also going to take it along my nose, just to make our nose look a little skinnier. And then I'm taking the wider bone shade in that palette, and I'm going to pop that into the center of the nose to highlight and bring that forward. This is going to help make our nose look a little skinnier. Now for that highlight, though, I'm going into the Pure Cosmetics Elevation Palette. It's a mini highlighter palette and I'm picking up the shade Boost. And I'm just going to pop that shade onto the high points of the cheeks, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, chin, a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm also going to spritz my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plush just to intensify the cheekbone highlight because we want our highlight to be on fleek. And lastly for the lips, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade 22, which is kind of like a deep burnt orange shade, and I'm just going to use that to line the lips. And for the actual lip color, I'm using the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita 2, which is more of a terracotta burnt orangey shade. It's kind of like a burnt orange, but it's got a pinkiness to it, which to me makes it a little bit more terracotta. And we're just going to pop that onto the lips, and after that, this is going to be our final look. All right, so that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. I really love it. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this for Christmas, but I might. I like it because it's sparkly and it's very warm tone. So yeah, I might, we'll see. <laughs> but I do have more looks coming to you guys um, in the next few days. So definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Just hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. And yeah, I think that is it. I don't think that I have any pressing news. So thank you guys so much for watching watching. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. Happy holidays! Bye! <laughs> I'm so weird.